I've been expecting you. At all. I suppose your presence here means that Sister Nell is no longer with us. How disappointing. I gave her one measly task to perform, but even that proved too much for her. I'd grown somewhat fond of her, and I suppose that was my undoing. It blinded me to her utter worthlessness. Her faith was not strong enough. And in the end, only those who truly believe in the new god shall remain. But I am all he shall ever need. My body and soul I give to him in the ritual grounds at Ilburns. I feel a stirring. God awakens. The coming of the dawn. Humanity's pitiable, fueling existence will come to an end. And by God's true power, this world shall be remade into a paradise. Now. You shall bow down before his divine might! been set. No one can stop the revival of God. He is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop said I was the key. He 
said the life force of Genos' descendant could be used to awaken Galvalan from his sleep. It's too late for me, so please run. Get away while you still can.
this Genesis sword of moon won't be enough. Chester! Over here! Both of you! I think he has some kind of plan. Come on, Adol. Hurry. Step onto the platform. All right. Now, give me the sword and the statues. Adol handed the brave sword and all four statues to Chester. All right. Chester, what in the world are you planning? Elena, this is goodbye. Please, take care of yourself, okay? What? What are you saying? Our ancestors left behind a means of destroying the entire island. It can focus the power of the statues to a breaking point, creating a massive explosion. Given how badly wounded Galbalan is, it's certain to destroy him for good. Wait! So you're going to use that to blow up the island? Clearly there's something else you're not telling me. Elena... I'm staying here. I need to use Genos's sword to activate the device. Wait, Chester! You can't be serious. If you do that, you'll... No! You can't! You mustn't! There... There has to be some other way. Why? Why should you have to die for this? I can never make amends for the atrocities I've committed. Perhaps this way... I can face our ancestors... without feeling ashamed of the man I've become. Please, Elena... Try to understand. I don't understand! How can you possibly suggest something like this? If you go on living, you'll find a way to redeem yourself. I know you will. You have to know that our parents would never approve of this. So please, don't. Don't leave me alone again. You can't, Chester. You can't do this. Elena. Forgive me. Elena, you have to live for me. Adol, please take care of her. And tell Dogi I'm sorry. Genesis' mission, and the creature that's plagued this land for such a long time, will all be put to an end. Vile fiend. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're too late. longer.
Jester. Dumbass. I think you'll get her to come out. It's understandable, though. She lost Chester for real this time. She's probably in a lot of pain right now. Don't look so dejected. You'll see her again someday, and she'll be fine. Come on, let's go, okay? We need to say our goodbyes to everyone before shipping off. Still early in the day, though, so we might have to make it quick. I imagine they'll all be pretty busy. what he accomplished in life. He will be remembered. Mayor, I think the best thing we can do right now is focus on getting everyone to work together to build a better Felgar. That's how I'll repay my debt to Chester. In any case, Adam, you must come back to see us again. And I promise, by the time you do, I'll have turned Redmont into a world-class metropolitan utopia. Beautiful weather today, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Perfect for setting out on a long journey. There's been a lot of damage done, but that sure doesn't seem to be ruining anyone's day. I think it's because we proved that no matter how bad things get, we'll all stick together and see them through. That's true, but what are you guys gonna do about the quarry? Until it's cleaned up, it sure ain't gonna produce much. Oh, don't worry, we'll be fine. We just have to take it one step at a time. After all, the people of Redmont are resilient. It'll take more than this to keep us down, am I right? You know it as well as I do, doggy. <laughs> Damn straight. first came here. She taught me everything I needed to know. She never had an unkind word to say about anyone. Hard to believe that same person committed such atrocities at the bishop's behest. But I feel there was more to her than that. I think deep down, she really was the wonderful human being we all knew. Yeah. 
I think you're right. To be honest, I never knew Bishop Nicholas very well. But Sister Nell was always one of the nicest people I'd ever met. She treated me like a little brother. I don't buy for a second that it was all just an act. Indeed, she and Chester sinned gravely. But they were not evil. They were only human. And humans make mistakes. It is man's great contradiction. We can be so strong, yet so weak, at the same exact moment. see no further need to live the life of a hermit. With the monsters gone, I'm left to drift in this world. Oh, come now, Master. You're no such thing. No, I am. My job here is done. Honestly, I think I'm just going to relax now. Relax and mourn the loss of a dear pupil, of course. I see it as retirement. Living out the rest of my days here, helping to rebuild, Actually, I look forward to it. she feels, though. I was the same way when, well, you know. No need to worry. She's got an iron will. Not even the worst pain in the world can break somebody like her. All she needs right now is time. And then she'll be good as new. Yes, I think you're right. But 
still, the sooner the better. I hate to see a sweet, lovely young lady like her in such agony. Goodbye. If I go with you all the way to the dock, I know I won't be able to keep myself from getting on that boat. But like I mentioned yesterday, I think I really need to stay here and help rebuild. The monsters are gone, but the quarry's still in bad shape. There's a lot of damage to repair. Don't think we should leave Valestine Castle in its current state either. So I'm gonna stay here for a bit and help my homeland get back on its feet. I think that's what Chester would have wanted too. You, though, you need to continue your journey and give everyone something to dream about. No need for the puppy dog eyes, man. If you stay in one place long enough, you know I'll catch up to you. We'll meet again, partner. I promise you that. Adol was reassured and bid Dogi a fond, albeit temporary, farewell. Right, Chester. I have to be brave. Helena? Dogie, where's that all? <laughs> you just missed him. He was headed toward the pier, so you might catch up with him if you run. Okay. Hey, watch your step along the way if you're planning to chase after him. The monsters may be gone, but that doesn't mean there aren't still cliffs and jagged rocks and stuff. I will. Thank you, Dogi. <laughs> Go for it, Elena. forward to that day. Goodbye, Adol. I'm... I'm really glad I met you. <laughs> 